everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Silvercoat Taylor, back here with another amazing reaction. This time, I react to some more Bill Burr, the, his uh, video on Epidemic of Gold Digging Horrors. Now, it's been a long time coming for this one, and I literally have to say this it's been a long time since I ever saw this or hear this video or heard about this video. But I was actually supposed to react to this a few days ago, but my blanked. Um, but anyway, but we're here react reacting to it now. So if you like any, any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description. You can watch it uninterrupted and also link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Also been reacting to Murder Drones as well. Uh, we'll be dropping every Saturday and Monday. So, um, dropping two episodes every, each week. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, also you have a link to my cash shop. If you feel gracious enough to donate five, ten, maybe fifteen dollars, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so all I can say is buckle up and let's get started. All right, we're here with Bill Burr, Epidemic of Golding the Horse. So let's get started. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would why wouldn't as a, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. R.I.P. Kobe. All right, guys, getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. You know, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody? To be honest, I never got that either, especially over the years. Look, I understand if someone's been there since day one before the money, and when the money came, then they want half after, uh, if they have not worked out. That's understandable. But if you weren't there when he was putting in the work and the grind, yeah, then it doesn't it doesn't matter if it was man or female. If you weren't there putting in the work, what do you think you deserve? Half, let alone more than half. I don't get it. Sense of these fucking things. Tiger Woods' wife, two hundred fifty million dollars. She's a babysitter for the quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Somebody, go ahead, somebody, explain, justify it, justify it, what, what, he cheated on her, I don't give a fuck. And that's the thing, I don't understand, it's kind of a little bit weird to justify it, to me personally, because I get if they cheated, fine, if you want to take everything he owns, that's on you, but if he was never abusive and everything, I don't see why, half, taking half, it would be much damaging, much, like, it would be equal damaging to me personally if you take more and less and more you just trying to let leave them destitute at this point but i digress maybe something that i don't know i'm ignorant about yeah i don't give a fuck he cheated on it right the relationship's over right then kobe cheated right shouldn't that relationship been over right then why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension right get uh. that 10 years in <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Hey, it's it bothers a lot of people to this day. Even the whole thing with Doc okay, when Dr. Dre got divorced uh from his wife, what about like two and a half years ago now? She wanted a lot of money for him to pay. All because and this and most of it was just uh, uh, labeled as living expenses. I'm like, really now? You do know he came from the ground up, right? <laughs> and yeah, he said, you know what? Just because I don't know what's going on, I can't really understand why she want that that much money, you know. But it, it does lead. It does. It does not look good. But. Hey, what do I know, right? Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the- Because here's the weird part. There are some people, it doesn't matter if it's a man or woman, always abuse that of they will marry someone because they have money maybe a few years later down the line you know divorcing this person taking away taking more than just half of this person's money and the court will allow it and i'm like 
And yes, it is on the person for not having them sign on sign a prenup. And it's basically that they never most of the stuff they never got a chance to sign a prenup. And I'm like, that's probably the see. I understand for the people who have been there since day one, that's understandable for not signing a prenup. Prenup, but even when we're there. Again, like I said, weren't there when they were grinding to earn that much? Yeah, sign the prenup. Yeah. Moons made out of cheese or something. <laughs> Talking about horse people. They're everywhere. <laughs> How many? How many more great men are going to get chopped in half before we do something? <laughs> Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. Mm, that, mm. That's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I would, I would like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up uh. photo in the end, so it's not <laughs> obvious. Up. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? <laughs> that is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. I gotta tell you, sis, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. You know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. It is, and which is the sad thing about it. And because stuff can happen to guys too. Guys can get sexual arrest. And it may be shocked to some of y'all, but yes, guys can get sexual arrest. And the first thing a lot of people go, oh, you must have wanted it in the first place. No, that's not how it works. It does not work either way. I mean, guys can get sexual arrest, same thing as the girl. They just, the girls are much worse. That is freaking horror stories. But guys, they also have their horror stories too. It's, but just you hear more about the girl, the uh, with the ladies than you will with the guys. And it's, it's that concept like, oh, guys can't get sexual rest. No, 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 they can. It just it's mind-boggling sometimes. But yeah, they can. We can get sexually rest. Uh, it sucks. It does. You know, one of my friends. Uh, it's a physical touch that. I'm not going into full details. It's a physical touch that his fiance cannot do. You know, she wants to. And me and her had to talk about it. I so said, you, well, you, at this moment, you probably be best for you to respect that due to the fact that he he, he feels bad that that's something that happened. And, you know, it's stuff, something that he has to get through himself. But I digress. Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw in the garbage disposal. And turned it on. Oh, uh, people thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, stop! Oh yeah, I remember that happening. People were laughing about her like that's pretty dark. B, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? Nope. The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear yeah. for an entire month. Indigo. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. <laughs> another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. I remember when this story came out. I didn't really fully understand it. Now, then, uh, a few months prior, like, yeah, a few months ago, when I watched the uh, Arnold documentary they have on Netflix. Yes, it's on Netflix. Uh, when it got to that point, which isn't on the third episode, like, like halfway point towards the end. When they, you know, explaining that, the whole entire thing. It's like, oh, okay. He had him To give you more details, he had a few months of misplaced judgment him and his wife were basically arguing every day and he one thing led to another with the whole thing with his mate you know that's and i'm not i'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did it was a piece of shit move Definitely. but how come only he got chastised what about the mate 
Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? <laughs> because of that 1987 <laughs> flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth, I could put this mic cord through? What do you think? Maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. <laughs> no, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it even make sense? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? As we all learned from last year with the police, uh, the police girl, a hole is a hole, apparently, to most guys. A hole is a hole, doesn't matter if they're pretty or not. And sometimes it, it's weird. And it's, it's a weird concept. Even I find it weird. Like, I'm a guy. I, even I find it weird. But, A, we don't know what, what de extremely decent what was going on at the time. So, I digress. It's got to be something beyond that, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> That's messed up. That should be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. Mm -hmm. He lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. <laughs> Cherry on top, I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. <laughs> four decades, nothing but net. Uh, and here's the weird part, and and I actually seen it like when they put the documentary out on Netflix. Like in three episodes, Thought Builder, uh, movie movie star, politician. I'm like, bro, he's been going like that ever since he got to this country. So that I probably that idea is I know I could probably get away with it probably was in there, but oh, man, bang a maid in my own bed, dude. That's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't <laughs> even need a condom. <laughs> right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls coming on TV. Absolutely reprehensible behavior. What kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded. And those are the same people that go to strip clubs and get head from, uh, by, get head from a stripper named Sprinkle or a Diamond, whatever her name is. And that's weird. I'm like, bro. You have no room to talk. Yes, he had a few months of slip, slip judgment, but at least it was with his maid, and that's most of our, that's most guys or even girls in the fantasies, you know, is with a maid. That's why we got the whole king, king, king crap with the whole maid outfit. But still, though, that's it's like it's a slip, it was a bad a judgment on him. Yeah, but they didn't have no reason to talk. <laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level right that's... like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer oh that's parked a... on the other side of a dumpster really <laughs> you're beating them off 
This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over? Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. That's at least about five or six lifetimes of doing all that. All right. How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. <laughs> I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? No, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, right? Like brave. It is like that even now, you know? Yeah, one of the things that I I I just, I basically uh, talked to my my fiance about like she wants to be rich and everything. So yes, rich comes with more problems. Yeah, and she don't think that it does, but it does. It comes with more problems, but more problems. They if I told her this, if you come with money, you probably won't be able to handle that. And she asked me what I mean. So well, I pointed bluntly to her like it's a different ball game. He has to be mentally prepared for it. So, but I, then again, I digress. Part faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? Mm -hmm. Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. It's do it, do it. Hell. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because mm -hmm. whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know, that wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up. I'll do it. I'll suck it. I'll do it. Right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up. All right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, oh, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. No, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> Watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> the weirdest thing is me and my friend have discussed this like, yeah, we probably push someone forward, yep. <laughs> We're trying to take turns to push each other forward to get eaten by a tiger. All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. 
You have to know that, dude. Your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it, you got it. Oh shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. I oh, hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. It should be, to me personally, again, when it comes to this type of subject, it should be fair. Now, if the person didn't sign a prenup and everything, you, and, the per, and, the, and the spouse came in when they were make, still making a lot of money and they started to exploit that, that's messed up, but all says on the person who's making that money for not having them sign a prenup. But I digress. Ooh, excuse me. But anyway, if you like any more of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, I uh, will leave the original link to this video down below in the description. You can watch it uninterrupted. Also, link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I will leave those uh, links down below. You can follow me on those social platforms. And also, I've linked to my cash chat down below. If you feel gracious enough to donate five, ten, fifteen dollars, that's fine. If you don't, that is fine as well. Also, let me know what <clears throat> what community show I react to next. And also, leave in a comment down below. What is your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, <clears throat> to next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Stay warm. And peace out. A little questions is everything they know about you. Oh,